Hey guys, welcome back for another installment of Trini Point of View. So I just checked out Split, which is M. Night Shyamalan's new movie starring James McAvoy. And you know what? I think M. Night Shyamalan might be on the road back to what he was in the early 2000s. For a while, especially with that airbender crap and all those things, he really was letting everybody down. But this has to be his roadway to success once more. Now Split has to be in the world of film probably like a very little enclosed masterpiece and i would probably attribute most of it to james mcavoy's acting this guy has to be one of the super actors of today this guy played so many different characters in this one thing and is they, they, there were scenes in this movie where he was on screen and literally flipping from one person to another in front of it. it wasn't like the camera was cutting from here to a mirror or here to someone and then back to him it was just Flawless. He was just actually just smiling at one point and then would change to somebody else. It was flawless. Um, it, in one of his characters in the movie, because he has 23 personalities, turns out to be 24 coming out to the end of it, but 23 personalities. One of them was a nine year old kid named Hedwig. Now, this guy played this nine year old to perfection. I Everybody who comes out of this movie is going to think that nine year old boy was like acting perfection i don't know how else to actually put it um there was one scene where he had to put on like a a, a 30 second dance kit boy jim mcavoy is he's like i don't know boy. He, he's right up there with denzel washington and these, these fellas i mean those are the more more classy actors they, they've been tried and proven but trust me this seal james mcavoy in the same rank with like michael fassbender and these guys this movie is it uh, there's one supporting role of a girl who he kidnaps who her, her acting career is kind of on point too um when it comes to the movie itself like the writing and everything else the screenplay was pre pretty good the cinematography was good um the color effects now the color effects there's some some throwback scenes like some some memories of the girl who he kidnaps the color effects of that do, those scenes were actually mind-blowing another thing is those same scenes what is like memory scenes they were, they felt kind of disjointed from the movie but coming out to the end you would understand why it's in there but still it felt a little bit it just took you out of the the, the present day um story that they were trying to tell because it didn't really have a payoff like that those memory scenes didn't have a payoff at the end you understood it yes but it didn't have a payoff um the little girl in those memory scenes though she was a scary little actress and i can't I, I didn't really check out to see what's her name or anything like that or what she's been before but she reminded me of like macaulay culkin in that show where he was a kid and he was like the little tormentor of elijah wood yeah that is the type of acting that little girl who probably said very little if anything at all that's the type of acting she brought with her um everyone else in the movie like the supporting actors he really didn't say much um but who really who really cares because every time you went as a supporting actor and you got like very mediocre acting you would cut back to james mcavoy or this girl who he kidnapped and everything was back to like full 10 so Split is definitely going to be probably one of everybody's favorite movies at the end of the year, even though this came out early. I don't know how come it's a January movie. You no, know, January is like usually slow paced. This is more of like a December movie, just it's in January. I don't know why, but definitely go and check out Split. You won't be disappointed. Um, there's a lot to think about. It actually ties in to, to um, Michael um, M. Night Shyamalan's movie from i can't remember the name of the movie right now but it stars bruce willis from the early 2000s it ties back into that it's the same universe i'm not sure if he's trying to build like a like a um a extended universe but definitely it was a surprise to see bruce willis at the end you know he brings that that as they say that gravitas so and that star power so definitely that is like a shocker it's like in, like in the last minute of it but it, it, it was like a pleasant surprise so Definitely go and see Split. You won't be disappointed. James McAvoy, perfect. Um, that girl, I can't remember her name right now. She's on point. Bruce Willis, star power. The cinematography, superb. It's a mind-blowing movie. You 
actually have to sit down and really get into it. This is not one of those movies that will distract you. This is one of my pleasant experiences at the cinema. Nobody was talking around me. I actually got to buy a Star Wars combo in Movie Town, which was kind of shocking considering how long ago that movie was out. It's not even playing in cinemas anymore. Um, my rating for this movie is going to be uh, 8.5 out of 10 just because there were little scenes in it that took me out of the movie but everything else was perfect and uh, this is going to be everybody's talk of the town for a little while and M. Night Shyamalan I want to believe this is his road back to his early 2000s success and we're going to see plenty more from him once he sticks to this type of movie making it's very similar to like the indies and them but more of a high budget indie so we are going to see him gradually get back up there and uh, I think that's what everybody wants. Forget about the last airbender, all those crap. This is where he should be and this is the type of movie making he should stick to. Alright guys, thanks for checking out my review of Split. Remember to hit that subscribe button, like, comment and that little bell down at the bottom. Just remember to click that bell so you get notifications anytime I post new videos. As I said, I'm going to try to keep up with one movie a week and I hope that you guys join me. See you there.